So I'm still pulling this over the ear through here to use your head shape and then bringing this back to my original stationary guide. Still right there down the middle. And so I'm cutting everything this direction and then still cutting within my hand shape, like you said, doing the 45 through here to create the graduation. <laughs> Preserving some weight, creating a triangular shape. She gonna cut, he gonna cut. Y'all know he's not going to. Okay, so this is again why this is why I'm doing it this way, this adaptive technique for the triangular grad or the triangular shape. Using her cowlicks and stuff, again, going through here, if I put these over here, they don't live over there. So this length that I would have put here, cut that direction, would have got a lot shorter. So by keeping them on that side and then pulling these back through here, this is gonna keep my shape identical on both corners because I'm not using my hands to try to mimic the uh, over direction or the angle of the section. Okay, so leaving on that last section, there's not really much, if anything, to cut. Okay, so the weight built up right perfect right where we want it, right through the bottom of our occipital, not too high. Because we still cut this as our layers coming up, and I haven't cut any of the front piece yet. So all this movement in the back is just exactly what it is, it's just movement. We kept a little bit of extra length in the corners just so that she still feels like she has longer hair, because her hair's gonna bubble up a lot when it dries and lose that shape. Okay, so now we're gonna connect this top layer that we cut a little shorter up through here, right? Because then we want to get this to move and have a little bit more body through this. So we're gonna over direct everything towards our center piece again, right down in this area. We're gonna bring this a little bit farther. So in the triangular layer, that comes 90 off the head right here, and that's what we're gonna bring all this to. We're only gonna go to the very top of the parietal ridge. So that way we don't take too much weight out of this, we're just taking the weight out of her top. Mm -hmm. Morgan getting a haircut. Oh, she getting a real haircut. Easy now. She needed though. Uh -uh. This is very needed. Just, so take, just taking some weight out. It's gonna be a new look. A new mortgage. Hey, Steven. How are you doing? Good. I hate it. Cutting some hair. Yeah, I was just using too much. Okay, so again, sticking with that, we're gonna over direct this all the way back to preserve Good. all that length she has in front. So we still need to make her bangs out of that. So each section will be a little bit less of what comes into it. And you can see the guide underneath there. So I mean, that's really only an inch of hair for how much section we have. 
and when you see how easy that falls off, it's not much holding it on there anyways. Like Angie said, she kind of needed her hands trimmed. Oh, the process from bleach, little bit. lightener. It's been pro I wouldn't say it's over processed. It's but it's processed. been processed, huh? Just, just enough. Just enough to warrant. Just enough to not, not just even reach. That's perfect. So you take the same section on the other side. You're making this kind of flat to here. You're going to take a vertical section. You want to only take it again to the top of the parietal. Through here. And that's going to mean all this area that's above the parietal is where your layers and your actual volume can come from. Anything below that, you can't make gravity push that hair up. There's not going to be short hairs you put in there. Nothing's going to push that or hold that up. So all the movement that we want to see in the haircut, we want to put it up here. We want to put it up through there. Absolutely. And then still keeping with our original flat section, our triangular guide back here in the flat. She's still going to have a long bag. She's still going to have a long bag. We just cut a little shorter in the back. But yeah, all of this should all, you know, this cross section probably won't even reach back here. So back to what we were saying, clean sections, right, helps you keep track of what you're doing and which steps you need to keep or make into continuing your haircut. Especially when you're going off a photo of something like that, somebody has something specific right there. So that's gonna have all the Look at you, look nice. Mm -hmm. Like you're going to the dance, Jamie. <laughs> Saka. She's going to the Saka. The top hop, yeah. yeah. What are you trying to say? The top hop. Okay. This is for you, Maureen. You're, so that bang that you want, that that chick's got, you'll never, ever, ever achieve it going this way. And the reason why is because all hair, right, the direction thing we were talking about, your hair grows when it's, you see it go that way first, a little bit, and then wrap around. And this is always, for the rest of your life, always going to fall down and try to go around your chin and fall on your face, okay? So when you want to see somebody that's got, like, the Justin Bieber bang or the Nicole Richie from, like, you know, Farmer World, it's on this side, okay? So when you push your hair to this side, and you push it down, you'll see that it actually will go down here first. And your cow is just so strong right there. But this would have to be the direction here. And you have to blow dry the cow out of it right here. Or, so this is a, okay, okay, this is a trick tip. 101. If you are wanting to get rid of your cowlick right in the front through there, when your hair is wet, just like it is right now, if you literally see what I'm doing, sting it down to your forehead, yeah, you do this and let your hair dry like that, it'll stay just like that for good. Right? Okay, so instead of if the more that you blow dry it or try to lift it or do any of the other stuff into it, the leafing and everything, you're moving it and if you actually push it and pull it or do this and then put like a bobby pin or something right there to hold it, this will dry just like that. As soon as you dry, you break back up. It's like the wet set. Yeah, and it'll stick just like that. So same thing, we'll do on this side, it'll be the same spot. But you would do something really again. You can see I you can never get rid of that. Yeah. Right? That little surfer wave that comes up into there. And so it'll always be up there. And same thing, you have to you have to push this and actually pull it with a little bit of tension. Put a bobby pin or something right there and then let it air dry. But you have to it has to be like stuck across your face through there. And that'll get you something like that. Because okay. her hair, that's just all pushed forward, and you can see how it's just swooped mm -hmm. into that direction. Mm -hmm. 